Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. I'm very excited about today's video because it's an international swap haul video. Um, I've already filmed this video once actually. I did it as an unboxing video. It ended up taking me over half an hour because I was just ooing and ahhing over all of the products and I, I didn't want to rush it. You know, I wanted to enjoy the swap myself. Um, to give you a bit of background, I set up a swap with a girl from Canada. Her name's Melissa, she's lovely. I set the swap up via a Facebook page called Be A Beauty Correspondent, which I'm going to put the name of it here for you. She just seemed to be a really genuine, lovely girl that I enjoyed getting to know, and we had quite a lot in common, which was just really weird, but lovely, and I felt like if we lived closer, then she'd be a great shopping buddy. We had a lot of similar tastes, although maybe it's a good thing that we don't live closer because it would not be good for our wallets. Um, I think that if you're going to do an international swap, then it is really important to develop a relationship with a person. We're definitely going to swap again. I don't believe that she's received my parcel as yet. Now, Melissa doesn't film videos at the moment, but I will put a link to her blog in the box below. Do check that out. Um, it's a good blog anyway, but also if you want to find out the products that I sent her, because I know she's going to post um, a little review. Um, about our swap on there once the products are received. I, I expect it will be fairly soon. I wouldn't have thought it would be much more than a week to go um, until she receives my box. I, I'd be worried if it was longer. We started off with a budget of around £30 and we both got really carried away so it ended up pretty much doubling. I was very excited to arrive home to my box of products um, and I'm just going to talk you through them now because as I said, I tried to do an unboxing video, which was my original plan, because I really wanted Melissa to see my reactions, but then I thought, even for somebody who's gone out and shopped for me, no one wants to see that for half an hour. <laughs> so, everything was really beautifully packaged. Um, she'd lined the box with tissue paper, and she'd wrapped everything up either in tissue paper or in pink wrapping paper as well. She wrote me a really cute note, um, which, I realised when she sent me this, I was like, oh my god, I completely forgot to put a note in there. I just got too excited about the products and wrote product descriptions. So, sorry for that, Melissa, you will be getting a note in your next swap. I think I just got carried away and I was keen to get the, um, the products out to you. But how beautiful is this card? Um, it was a really lovely message about how she'd enjoyed getting to know me um, through the group and, and just sort of swapping... Um, doing her shopping for the swap um which i agree with everything she said you know i really enjoyed getting to know her as well she seems absolutely lovely and i'm going to keep this card on my um i've got a little pin board that i'm going to put this on just to remind me of my canadian swap buddy she also typed out um very thorough descriptions of all the products that were included and she said that it contains spoilers so i mustn't open this until i'd opened all of the products and i really felt that this um she'd put a lot of work into and it was really helpful to explain some of the products to me and um, how she likes to use some of the products that she's um, included where, where she's included her favorites i'm going to go through the box in no particular order first up we had sort of said was there anything in particular that we'd seen from our respective countries that we'd like to try um from canada i said that i really wanted to try the crest white strips if she could get hold of some so she included these for me um, i can't wait to try these out that's not something that we have in the uk they're allowed to put stronger formulations into their dental hygiene products so um this is going to be a nice at home kit um which i can't wait to try she's given me some little tips as well such as you know use a tissue before i um apply them to dry my teeth off and make them stick better um, and the instructions are pretty clear anyway this is the vivid set which is um, the sort of number one intensity next up was a product that i was really excited to see it was the julep facial for hands glycolic hand scrub um, it's a really cute little miniature size 30 mil which is a nice size to try out i tend to think that these kind of products as well a little goes a long way so um, you know, the 30 mil size is probably still going to last me a long time. Um, Julep seems to be a sort of nail polish subscription service that you can get in North America. Um, and I believe that they also have a few products for sale in Sephora's. Um, I had been really keen to try their products out after seeing some people's videos. And you can't get them over here. So I was excited to see that. And it's nice to have a hand scrub this time of year because your hand's getting dry. You want your hand cream to work more effectively. So that's arrived at the perfect time. The next product is from a Canadian brand called Cake. Um, I 
I had seen some of these and I was intrigued to try cake products. Um, it is a satin sugar hair and body refreshing powder. She says that she only uses this as a dry shampoo and it's specially designed as a dry shampoo for those with dark hair such as myself and Melissa as well. Um, I tend not to use dry shampoo as a sort of hair refresher. I tend to use it more to add volume if I'm doing a particular style on a night out and it also gives a little bit of grip. Um, Talc isn't something that I would necessarily pick up, but I'm quite intrigued to try this and I'm expecting it to smell as good as the name suggests. Next up is this Marcel Extension Plus Mascara, Lengthening and Curling. Although I tend to go for volumizing mascaras, I'm intrigued to try this out because um, Melissa said that she had tried this and was really impressed with it um, and that it's a higher end brand. I think it will be a good everyday mascara and it has got one of these um, plasticky ones. So I think the fact that it's lengthening, um, maybe a little bit defining and the colour as well, um, which is dark brown, um, will, make that it, will mean that it's a good everyday mascara. I look forward to trying that out, seeing as it's a product that Melissa herself has really rated. Next up is one of my favourite products from the box and it is this Revlon nail polish in the shade Whimsical at number 430. I really hope the camera is going to pick up just how gorgeous this is. It's a sort of milky undertone with beautiful chunks of glitter in um, gold and turquoise. And although Revlon is a brand that we have here in the UK, I haven't seen this. Um, even if I had seen it, I really like Revlon nail polishes. I think they're amongst the best nail polishes you can get on the high street. I couldn't wait to try this out, so I've put it on over my For Audrey China Glaze nail polish. Although I really want to try it under, um, although I really want to try it over the top of a sort of milkier colour like the one in here. Um, Melissa had pre-warned me that it is quite sheer, and that's why I had put it on um, over the top of an existing polish that I owned. Um, but I had seen some colours like this with this really beautiful milky base um, with the coloured glitter in um, on the Be a Beauty Correspondent website. Some people post photos quite regularly and things. I'm not so good. Um, and so as soon as I saw this, I was very, very excited. Um, I'm just going to check her note about this as well because she said that it is a dupe. She said it's a perfect dupe for... Deborah Lippmann's Glitter in the Air. Um, Melissa had said that she's a real nail polish junkie as well, so I definitely trust her judgment when it comes to nail varnish. Talking of nail varnishes, another one she included was an Essie nail polish in the shade Chocolate Kisses. I love Essie nail polish. It's one of my favorite nail polish brands because they're so long wearing, it's amazing. Um, and I really like these vampy shades for winter and autumn. Um, Although this will be really nice as a winter pastel and is a little bit more fun, I think this will be really lovely for a smarter look um, going through the season. You can get SE nail polishes here, but they're really quite expensive, so it was really sweet of her to include that. She also included um, a couple of these amazing maple sugar candy um, sweets. She included quite a few, but I've already been... Uh, having a little nibble at the box. These are amazing, I absolutely love these and obviously maple syrup is a very Canadian thing. Um, thank God I don't live in Canada because I would just live on these. They're amazing, really liked these. Another favorite from the box even though it's not a beauty product. Next up was another Juliet product and this is the Essential Cuticle Oil. Um, I'm gonna keep this by my bed and apply it every night just to really nourish my cuticles, particularly this time of year. Next up, she included a couple of samples as extras, which I thought was really thoughtful. Um, and she says that she really likes this skincare range from Kiehl's. It's the Rosa Arctica range, and she included a face cream and an eye cream. Um, I thought it was really thoughtful of her to pop those in for me to try, really generous, um, to share the samples of her favorite skincare. Um, and I've tried a few products from Kiehl's and really liked them. I do like Kiehl's. I don't think that I've tried a great deal of their skincare. I think I've maybe tried like one or two products and I liked it, but it's just not a brand that I'm overly familiar with. So I'm really excited to try these out. The more skincare she included was these clay masks um, from the Feeling Beautiful Freeman range. Um, they are deep pore cleansing chocolate and strawberry masks, which sound good enough to eat. She was, um, we were both saying that we really like foodie beauty. 
Um, so I look forward to having a nice pampering session, put one of these on, maybe do my nails with some of the nail products that she's included. So thank you for these. Another product she included was the Corea's Fig Little Shower Gel. Um, I'm going away soon, so I will definitely be packing this. She said that the scent isn't to everybody's liking, but luckily I absolutely love anything fig scented. It's a really lovely, um, warming, masculine scent that very much appeals to me. So thank you, Melissa. I will look forward to using this on my upcoming holiday. She also included a couple of Physicians Formula products, which is a brand I've been really keen to try out, but you can't get it over here as far as I'm aware. Um, I just thought this was really beautiful, this blush that's sort of impressed with a um, cable knit sweater print. I'm a big fan of blushes. Whilst Melissa said that her addiction was nail polish and she'd really appreciate it if I could include one or two nail polishes, my thing that I love, as, as you probably know, is blushes. I have quite the problem. Um, I thought this is really beautiful. I do tend to go for pinkier blushes, so this is perfect choice. And I think, look how cute the packaging is. And I like that on the back as well, it's got a large mirror. I like that on the back, it's got a very large mirror and also a brush. I probably won't use the brush, but I thought it was pretty thoughtful. Um, I thought it was pretty well thought out packaging nonetheless. She included some more Physicians Formula products in the form of these um, gel eyeliners. It did take me a while to figure out what this was. Um, it's a set of three gel eyeliners and it's particularly designed it's specifically designed for those with brown eyes, although I, I'm not really into makeup rules. I think you can wear whatever colours you like. Um, but it's designed to enhance brown eyes. It's a pretty well thought out um, product from what I can tell. It's got a brush. It's got a sort of goldish colour for a natural effect. A playful bronze shade, um, which I think will really add some sparkle to the eye area. And then a more intense colour, which looks like it's a black um, I'm intrigued to try this because I think there's a few different drugstore brands that are starting to bring out gel liners. Apart from Collection 2000, I haven't really seen any shades other than black, so I'm intrigued to try these two specifically. The next product she included was her favourite um, soap from the brand Bliss, and this is massive. This must have cost her so much to post because this itself is really heavy. Um, I like that it's got these sort of massage um, raised bumps because that would be really good for sort of getting to those orange peel cellulite areas, really get the blood circulating. Um, and it's, it has got an amazing minty scent, which it, although I don't really go for soaps, I think that this I probably will reach for um, as a nice get up and go product in the mornings. I'm not a morning person, so I think this nice refreshing minty scent will really help to wake me up. Next up, she included this really cute keychain, which again, I'm gonna put on my keys. I don't really have a keychain on my um, keys, so this will be nice to remind me of my Canadian swap buddy. Um, and I'm pleased she put a description of this because apparently it also doubles up as a bottle opener. So how cute's that? And I really like the animal moose as well, so um, I'm really pleased to have received that. Next up was a Joe Fresh eyeshadow. Um, I really was impressed with the packaging of this because I believe it's a sort of drugstore brand. I I thought that Joe Fresh was the target makeup brand, but she said that it's exclusively sold in Canada. Um, I don't tend to pick up these matte shades. I just, I'm a bit of a magpie, so I tend to go for anything with a shimmer, but it is really useful to have a matte um, eyeshadow in your collection. And this is a great sort of putty color. Um, it's got a fleshy undertone to it, but enough of a depth to make it um, a useful maybe contour color or just good for an everyday one. This is the shade Putty, in case you're interested. And it seems to be a really nice texture as well, um, not too chalky or anything, so I like that. She also included a nail polish from the brand Jo Fresh, and I really like this sort of grayed teal color. I think that would be lovely um, with jeans and a big chunky jumper. Um, I can see myself wearing this a lot as a casual autumn color. Next up, she included um, a simple eye makeup remover. Um, this is pretty generous size, even though it's a travel size, I think this will last a long time because, you know, how how quickly do people go through eye makeup remover? Um, we do have the brand Simple here in the UK, but I'm intrigued to try this. It's not something that I would generally go for in the drugstore, um, but I will give this a go, and if it works out well, then I'll probably pack it in my um, travel bag for when I go on holiday because I don't have an eye makeup remover that's this size. The next product she included was a hand sanitizer from Avon Naturals in the scent pomegranate and mango. And I really like that it has a scent because 
Generally, I don't tend to like these hand sanitizers. A large part of the reason for that is because I don't like the scent that they have. So this, I've already tried it out and it has a really, you know, it really does live up to the name. It's a very fruity, zesty fragrance that's very pleasant. Next up was this Lip Smackers M&M's um, Lip Gloss. Now, I've heard of Lip Smackers in terms of those, um, the lip balms, like they do the Dr. Pepper flavor and things like that. Um, but I hadn't seen these lip glosses before, so I was excited to try this. And I love how it's all swirled together really beautifully. Um, this smells exactly like mint chocolate, and I love the scent of mint chocolate. Um, I believe this is just going to... I've sort of swatched this on my hand before, and I think it's just a sheer gloss, but still very nice. She also said that mint chocolate chip is her favorite ice cream flavor, which I was so pleased to hear someone say, because so many people are like, why is, why do you like that flavor? It, it tastes like toothpaste. I love mint chocolate chips, so um, well, well done, Melissa. I, as I said, we've got quite a lot in common. The next product I opened up and I was like, oh, okay, like, I don't really mind, but she sent me a, um, a used product. Um, when I first did my unboxing, I, I hadn't read her note. She sent me this cream blusher from the brand, sorry, I've just taken it out really quickly, um, from the brand Fusion Beauty. It's called Sculpt Diva, and it is in the shade Gossip. Um, so I, I opened this up and I was like, oh, it, it kind of looks like it's used. Maybe she bought it in a store and wasn't aware that it had been opened. Um, I mean, it seems like a pretty nice brand. It's a, um, there's a mirror in the lid here and it's pretty chic packaging. Um, and I just thought, oh, well, I'll just sanitize it. You know, maybe she didn't know or I wasn't really sure what to think. You know, I wasn't really sure what to think, but I really like cream blushes. Um, it seems to be a nice formula and a very wearable neutral shade. But then I read her note with the product descriptions and she said, um, I'm including this as an extra. Um, I purchased this for myself but didn't realise I already had one at home. Um, I didn't realise it until I swatched it, so please ignore my swatch mark. I have disinfected it already, so it's all ready for you. I thought that was so sweet and, you know, I really appreciated the sort of explanation of that. Um, she really didn't need to include it as an extra. We had said that we would be happy to accept used products so long as we, you know, lightly swatched products so long as we were aware of it. Um, so I would have been happy if that had been part of the um, the budget. And I thought it was really sweet of her to think of me and remember that I liked blush. So um, I look forward to trying that out. It also made me laugh because I'm sure I've got makeup that I don't know that I've got. So. I'm not too sure how we're doing for time, but there's just a couple of products left, and these are my favorite products that she sent me, um, as well as that Revlon nail varnish. Um, she sent me the EOS lip balm, and this is in the scent Summer Fruit. Um, I have already opened it up. I've been really intrigued to try these. People really rave about them, but I've never tried one before. Um, it says that it's packed with antioxidant-rich vitamin E, soothing shea butter and yojoba oil. EOS keeps your lips moist, soft, and sensationally smooth. They're 100% natural and 95% organic, so really caring for your lips, not just um, locking moisture in, but also nourishing as well. It's I tend to really like lip balm that comes in pots because I just like the texture of it. You know, if you get it in a squeezy tube, sometimes they're a little bit greasy. Um, sometimes the ones that come in a tube are, uh, that come in a stick format are a little bit too buttery and they can melt quite easily. But the ones in pots are normally quite a nice formula. However, I find it really unhygienic to put your finger in and apply it to your lips, especially if you're out and about. This is a little bit on the large size to carry in a handbag, but nonetheless, I really like it because it's a domed um, lip balm, so you just apply it directly to your lips, which I love. What a great concept. I don't know why there aren't more brands that do this, but the best thing about this is the scent and the taste. It smells amazing. It is just like those, um, you know those peach sweets that you get? It's just like those. It, it really reminds me of that, and I absolutely love this. It's one of my favorite products that she sent me, so thank you so much. Final makeup product that she sent me was this amazing Wet n Wild palette. Um, I had seen these on a number of um, YouTube American and Canadian blogs. Um, they're, I believe they're pretty good value. I think it's about $5 for these gorgeous eight shadows. It's a little smaller than I expected, probably around the size of my hand. Um, but nonetheless, I cannot wait to have a play around with this. She said that she also has the same palette. 
they seem to be really good quality i love the combination of these more neutral shades as well as some shimmery ones and glitter as well as a matte black um, I've been really keen to try out the Wet n Wild um, eyeshadows, so I cannot wait to try this and create some really gorgeous smoky eye looks as the party season gets closer. And then the last thing she sent me was from the brand Mark, and it is a gorgeous pair of dangly earrings. Um, she said she has the same pair, so I thought it was a really nice, almost like a, a friendship bracelet, but earring form and these are just perfect they, I think they'd be a really nice statement with a black dress and they're just a really nice length I don't wear dangly earrings like that much in my videos but I do t like to wear them um, to add some drama to a night out look um, so I can't wait to wear these I think they're really beautiful I, I am actually quite um, I'm actually quite fussy with my jewellery. I, I feel like I have quite distinctive taste. And so my friends rarely buy me jewellery for my birthday or anything. But she's got it spot on with these. So again, another thing we seem to have in common. I think these are absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to wear them. Thank you so much, for Melissa. I hope that you've um, enjoyed seeing my reactions. I'm sorry this wasn't an unboxing video. But I I'm really, really pleased with our swap. I've loved getting to know you over um, Facebook. And I feel like... Um, you know, it's so nice to find somebody that we've got so many like shared passions as well. Um, and I can't wait to do our Christmas swap. If you haven't already subscribed and you've enjoyed watching this video, then please do so. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.